Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Melissa. For those of you who are seasoned veterans, hey, hi, welcome back. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a like. It has been a minute. I have not been on YouTube in 16 days. I think the last time I did that was when I literally gave birth to Luca and I took two weeks off from social media. I don't even know if I did that to be honest. Your girl was a little overwhelmed. I was planning Luca's friend's birthday party, her family birthday party, then she had her birthday party with her dad's family. Like it was a crazy few weeks. Work, you guys know this time of year is wild. And then we had the Grand Prix F1 party preps that started and a bunch of warehouse sales, sample sales starting that I'm working with the brands behind the scenes. So it's been a wild one and I am so sorry. I totally neglected YouTube. This is honestly my favorite platform so I hate that I did that. But if you guys miss me, you know you can always follow me on Instagram where I post daily. I've been doing a ton of outfits of the days. I've committed to doing a what I wear to work every single day for 30 days. So I thought with my big 16 day hiatus off of YouTube, I would come back and do a what I've been wearing this spring. I wanted to show you guys some pieces that I've been loving and how I'm styling them. That's my whole thing. I don't want to just do a haul to do a haul. I want to show you guys how I'm actually wearing the pieces I picked up. So without further ado, let's jump into it. The first piece I have here is actually not an item I've worn yet, but I bought it for an event that I have in a few weeks and I'm in love with it and I really feel like you guys need to know about it. To me, this is possibly the best wedding guest dress I have ever seen in my life. It's by Michael Costello. It has like this like nude bustier underneath. Here, hold on, let me show you guys. So this is just what the underpinning looks like. I am wearing a size, with mine in a size extra small and I am a 32E and it works. Like it gives me a nice like that Victorian cleavage, but it definitely fits and it holds up and it's beautiful. And it's lined up until like mid thigh, I would say. And then it has this beautiful mesh overlay and this ruching that is so flattering. I tried this dress on because this was one of my contenders for the Grits Carlton Grand Prix party and I was like, this will be a good backup. I think it's a goodie because you guys are gonna see the dress that I got for the Ritz. It's something else, like it is incredible. But I got this thinking like, I don't know if I'm gonna have the courage to wear the one that I got. So this was a backup that is going to turn out to being something that I wear for this other occasion that I cannot wait to take pictures of. Ah! Next off, I have this Veronica Beard denim jacket. That is everything. I got this at the Shop 4110 sample sale. If you guys are not going to this sample sale, I know it's done for this year, but they're probably gonna do another one soon. You need to follow Shop 4110 on Instagram because the prices in this sale were incredible. So this Veronica Beard jacket was $665 regular price. I got it for a hundred dollars. I got it in a size four. I don't know if you guys can still find this anywhere, but look how beautiful this is. So I'm usually a size two, but they told me size up because it's non-stretch denim and there's nothing worse than like that feeling, you know, when you can't drive and you can't move around. So this is what the size four looks like on me. I love the details on this. It's a jacket alternative. It looks great, double denim especially at the moment. I've always been a fan of double denim, but double denim at the moment is everything. So like this look right now too, looks so good. But yeah, shop 4110, the sale that I went to this spring, I, I hooked myself up with such amazing things, but this jacket was definitely the star of the show. I tried it on and I knew it was gonna be one of those pieces that you're like, ugh, this is one of those forever wardrobe pieces. And I was right. You know what I forgot to show you guys? Look at this ring. So this is by Anzi. This is my birthday present to myself. You guys know that every year I spoil myself with a piece of jewelry, a purse, something that I wanted. And this year was this ring. I was in a meeting. We were talking marketing for the next what was going on and everything. And Joanna just pulled this ring out and she's like, what do you think of the setting? What do you think of the stone? Like, would you make any changes? Would you make the band wider? And I was like, no. This ring is perfect. In fact, I would like this ring. Can you please size it to a size four so I can wear it as a pinky ring? And then decided it was gonna be my birthday present because my birthday is in a month. Oh my God, shout out to my friend, Catherine. 
KGMTL, as you guys probably know her. She came out with the line K6 this month. It was launched, and I went bananas because you guys know my love for Skims. Skims is my ride or die basics. I live in everything Skims. The t-shirts, the bodysuits, like I literally, Skims bodysuits are their life for me. I adore them. But when I saw Catherine come out with K6, I was like, this is giving me amazing basic vibes. Let me pick up a few pieces. So I got the rib tank, I got the t-shirt. She, oh, I got the long sleeve scoop. She sent me another rib tank. She sent me a t-shirt in a different color. And then my girl sent me her jeans. Oh my God, let me tell you. These are incredible. They make me look so tall. They give me the longest legs ever and my butt looks incredible. But wait, wait, wait they're also comfortable. Have you ever heard of comfortable jeans that also look good? Because I don't know about you, but I live in like baggy jeans usually because I choose comfort and I wear all these tight bodysuits so I figure I can do a nice baggy jean at the bottom. But these jeans, I wore these out for work. I don't know what Catherine did. She's discovered how to make the most flattering denim be comfortable. I'm gonna put it out there. If you guys haven't checked out K6, I'm putting all the links of these things down below. Incredible. I mentioned that I am a baggy jean lover, but I did pick up these Pistola jeans. They're a light wash and fell completely in love with them. I work with the online store, My Fashion Trunk, and they sent me these just so I wanted to see what the fit was like, so I got them in a size 25, and Pistola is notoriously very, very long, so I wanted to see, like, can I cut them and wear them? Where does the knee sit? I wanted to, get, to kind of get, like, a short girl feel for these Pistola jeans. So first of all, I just went ahead and cut them myself. They're incredible. They have this side slit over here that just opens up. Incredible. The knees, the holes are perfect. I'm not usually into distressed denim, but these fit amazing. The wash is this like perfect light wash. The butt is great. They're like, they're brandless, which is, and that's also what I like about Catherine's. They're not like big flashy logos and plates and stuff like that. These two jeans, aside from my classic Levi dad jeans or my A Goldies 90s jeans, which I live in, these are my summer denim that I'm gonna be living in. I can tell right away. They're fitted, they look good, they're a great shape. We're into those. Speaking of Michael Costello, I also picked up this dress over here. This was also a backup dress that I picked up for the Ritz-Carlton Grand Prix party. This, the whole theme of the party, by the way, is Havana Nights. It's the big event of the Grand Prix, in my opinion, aside from the Grand Prix. Since I'm not an F1 lover, I like the social around Grand Prix weekend in Montreal. The Ritz party, I've been going for years. I will put the, um, where you can buy tickets and the details down below. It's in collaboration with a charity as well, which it's, it's such a great night. The turnout is always incredible. The theme for this party this year is Havana Nights. So I was speaking to the marketing director, Katya, that I've known for a gajillion years, and she told me, Mel, think color. So right away when she told me that, I had already ordered that black mesh Michael Costello and I was like, epic fail. I need a colorful dress. So this came into play. I was like, oh, this is beautiful. It fits the like Havana vibe. That like blue color looks really good on my skin tone. So let's give it a shot. So I ended up trying it on. I don't know where I'm wearing this dress. I'm not wearing it to the Ritz because the dress, the dress is coming up, you will see. I don't know where I'm wearing this dress, but it is beautiful. So I need to find, I need to get invited to another gala or very black tie event where I can wear this to you. Somebody in my circle needs to get married, please, because I have a Michael Costello dress that I desperately want to wear. <laughs> Are you guys ready for the most colorful jacket I've ever purchased in my life? Lime green was the color I needed for this year. I absolutely want it. Picture this jacket with a super short dress underneath, high heels, it's everything. It is absolutely everything. I had to pop it in here. I just got it, I haven't worn it yet, but I was just so excited about the color. It's by L'Academie. I got a size extra small. 
It's so pretty. It's just the most appealing looking jacket I've ever purchased in a long time. And I really wanted to include it in this video because it just, it makes me happy. I have to give a shout out to my star purchase of the spring season. This is by Ferragamo. I have it in the white, like, shiny, glossy leather. I love this bag. I spilled an entire coffee in this bag. I was carrying a coffee in my hands and it poured into, like I was multitasking and the coffee poured into the bag. But you can't tell, even the stitchings, like I just went with a baby wipe and I wiped it off and it's perfect. This is literally the best bag I think I have bought in a long time. I've been wearing shorts. I haven't worn shorts in a business setting in a minute and it's these shorts that kind of started the love affair. I got the, I also got these at a sample sale. It was a closeout I think for um, What is Essential? And I picked these up this winter. They were regular price, like 700. I got them for $25. A very cool brand called Suxi. I can't pronounce it, I'm so sorry. I don't mean to sabotage it. I got them, oh, they're a double zero. No wonder they're tight. They were the last ones left and I didn't want to miss out and I ended up buying them anyways because I was like, these are so cute. But this silhouette, it doesn't need to be this brand in these exact shorts. I just want to point out this silhouette for the spring season is so good, just with like an oversized jacket. It makes your look very put together without trying too hard. I also like the back pocket slit at the back with the wide waistband and the pleat front. I think it's very, very, very cool girl vibes and I'm on to team shorts. I wanted to show this in this video because I did buy this belt. I don't know why I bought this belt. It's absolutely beautiful. It's so stylish, it's so cool. I don't wear belts. I really wish I wore belts. So if any of you out there want to buy this, please DM me. I have never worn it. There is literally still the plastic attached to it. If you are interested, let me know. The dress I never thought I would wear as much as I have so far. It's by Norma Kamali. I think it's called the tennis dress. It's really short. It's very short, but it has that like lining the underlining underneath, I wear this when I don't know what to wear. Literally, I don't know what to wear. I put this on, put a jacket on top, put an oversized jean jacket. This dress has saved me so many times already. I've worn it with tights, I've worn it without. I wore it tucked in to a pair of baggy jeans. This dress, it literally looks like a basic black boring dress. Wrong, it's incredible. It's by Norma Kamali. I'm a big fan of Norma Kamali. Their dresses just fit, they're just everything. Bustiers, if you have not jumped on the bandwagon yet, you need to. This one, first of all, is my favorite. It's by NBD. I got it in a size small. It is the most flattering bustier I have ever owned. I got this, I think, in like February or something, maybe March. And they keep on replenishing it on Revolve just because I, I guess people keep buying it. It has this like mesh under bustier that's like kind of see-through but because it's stretchy it just holds you up it literally gives the most flattering cleavage i've ever seen in my life that kind of just lays over top and covers like the essentials but then you have like that sexiness underneath the lift from the bustier oh it is such a goodie i have to hold myself back to not wear this this i styled with Catherine's jeans Oh my God, I looked so good at dinner. Okay, speaking of bustiers, this is a different bustier. Clearly, I am into bustiers this year. This one is by Lovers and Friends and I wore it to the um, ANZI event. It looked so cute. I wore this with, what jeans? Oh, that was with my A Goldie jeans. This top is everything. I got it in a size small and it just like, pushed and lift and looked so beautiful baggy jeans this is the dress are we ready to see the dress i got this from farfetch oh my god it's beautiful it needs to be ironed it needs to be ironed and shortened i'm very aware that it needs ironing it's by elisabetta franchi which is an Italian designer. She's known for these kind of like matte jersey stretch pieces. I know the camera's picking this up as red, like I'm going Ferrari red for the event, but it is not. It's like a fuchsia, like raspberry color. 
and it's ruched all the way down. It has a slit. Then you have the signature Elisabetta Franchi um, logo at the front. I had my parents over when the dress arrived and my mom literally was like, oh my God, wow. And then my dad, who's more conservative with stuff like this, like I was like, oh my God, my dad is gonna freak out. Like it's a lot of skin. My dad's reaction was literally like, whoa, you look amazing. And I was like, you don't think it's too much? And both my parents were like, you will only look like this once, rock it. So this is what I'm going with to the party. Next piece that I fell in love with, I have this dress in black and I adore it. It's by Norma Kamali. I got this for a breakfast PR event with my fashion trunk and I was all over it. I wanted to like support the store and wear a piece that they carry and this dress, it did not, and this dress, was everything. I got so many compliments. Again, I have this in black. It's one of my go-to basic black dresses that I adore, but the like Python version of it, it just hits differently. Cargo denims, I'm not that into anymore, but I got these cargo chinos. They're everything. Again, these are pants that I have to like stop myself from wearing. Like today, this would look so good. They're by Pistola. They have the side slit trouser pocket. They have the leg, the zip, the ugh. These are the ultimate cargo pants, in my opinion. This RD style jacket, I am actually going to wear this right now to go get myself some lunch and it is everything. I love this like cropped trench look that's going on right now. This is like a parachute twill, which feels really, really nice. It's very, very soft. It's comfortable, but you look very together, very cool. I just find the fit is great. This is the extra small and it fits nice, the color is great. It's just one of those like great throw on denim jacket alternative. I feel like I nailed it with this one. Shirt by L'Académie, it is in linen, hence why it is so wrinkled. It is phenomenal, phenomenal. Styled back to shorts, to skirts. It's so lightweight, super breathable, very, very chic. I don't know guys, this spring the fashion has been so fun and so exciting. I really stuck to the plan of not buying disposable. Like all the pieces I bought are quality pieces. They're not trendy, they're really pieces that I'll be able to carry forward and they're just, I find just great wardrobe staple add-on. I feel like aside from maybe the lime green jacket, I feel like these are all capsule wardrobe essentials. That's kind of what I'm feeling. Anyways, guys, that is it. That is everything I had to show you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, so sorry about the hiatus. I will be back as per usual. And I don't have anything else to say besides I love you so, so much. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.